What's up guys, welcome back to Reaction Random Facts. Uh, the other day I was able to get out and actually hunt for more Hot Wheels. And while I didn't find any like super treasure hunts or treasure hunts, I was able to find some really cool cars that I wanted to share with you guys. And I do have one that I think should be considered a treasure hunt, super treasure hunt. It isn't, it isn't by Hot Wheels but it is by Jada and I think it is really freaking awesome but we'll get to that in a little bit let's go over the Hot Wheels I found right now first up this one is called the boom car I've never seen a car like this before this is a first for me I have never seen these ever out in the wild I just think it is really awesome it's like a circus uh, cannon that you shoot clowns out of I wish it had a little clown inside of it. That would be like the topping on the cake for this Hot Wheel. Next up, we have the Roger Dodger. And this is, this is the Leap Year car. As you guys know, this is Leap Year. But here's this car. Now, take a look at one thing. Look at the, uh, the motor right here. I wish we could have glossed up that motor a little bit look at this i mean don't get me wrong this is a cool car the decals on it are really cool but i think if we could have glossed up that motor that would have really set this car off and set it different from any other car out there since it is a leap year car next up i bought the monster high ghoul mobile the reason why I bought this one, there's two different ones out there. One of them is a light pink, but this one is the black paint job on it. And if you look at it, it's kind of sparkly. I don't, I don't know if you guys can tell it in the video right there, but this one is much different than the other car that I normally see. I don't know if there's anything special about it. I do know the decals on it are really nice. The colors are really nice on it. So this may be like, a rare version of this car just I don't know I I think it is because I've never seen it maybe people just snatch them up before I get to the store I, I, I'm not sure next up we have the supercharger and this is the Earth Day 2024 now I always grab these because I'm a huge fan of nature I love getting out and just like checking out state parks checking out trails that I've never been on and I just love nature being out seeing the trees and it's just so relaxing to me to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city and all the toxic fumes and stuff you get out there in the trees trust me everything just smells much better unless you run up on something you shut next up we have the ice charger now this is from the fate of the furious you know, I think this is a really cool casting, but once again, I think they kind of dropped the ball on the engine area. It's just some parts of the car, I think you could give a little extra time to. Now I know these are just the freaking $1.25 or $1.19, wherever you're shopping at, you know, either one of those prices. But I think a little bit more attention to detail on that motor would have really made this car shine because it, it is already a cool looking car. Next up, this car I really like a lot. I have a few of this model. This is the Land Lowrider. Now this one, excellent job. From the paint to the decals, everything looks really nice once again the motor I think it works a lot better on this car the motor shakes by the way if you shake it but it works a lot better on this car because it's much smaller it's not real big like the Roger Dodger or the Fast and the Furious car and by it being smaller it actually looks a lot better sitting there completely green matches the colors looks really nice but yeah the the motor on it shakes Probably not gonna be able to see it in the video. Not sure why I did that, but it's okay. Next up, we have the Baja truck. 
not really anything special, but I think the decals on this truck, the colors of it really look nice. You really can't go wrong here. This is perfect for, you know, any kids want to go outside play in the dirt. I know that's what I used to do with them, but you want to go outside, run them on your racetrack, whatever you want to do with it. This is just a really awesome car to be able to do that with. I mean, it's cool. It's a Baja truck. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and show this bad boy off. This is the Back to the Future time machine in hover mode. Guys, I never thought I would find one of these cars in the wild. This is another one of those cars. It's not like a super or anything like that, but I feel like collectors have made it like a super or, you know, just a special edition car just because... It is back to the future and they snatched them up this is another one it looks really really good the casting on this is really nice you really can't complain about this one great car excellent car from my childhood i really love it next up we have the 55 chevy bell air gasser now gassers are one of my favorite hot wheels to collect now let's show this bad boy off this car works really really well as you can see the motor is glossed up sticking up out of there it's not real big it doesn't make it the focal point of the car it has the collector wrote on the side I really like that and nice decals nice color this car works this is an excellent car if you see this in the snow uh snores must need some sleep but if you see this in the stores please snatch it up because this is a really cool car to add to your collection next up really cool custom 72 chevy love cool little truck right there they almost went too big on the motor block on this one but it works really well kind of like the laying low rider has a nice green colors to it and the chrome really makes it stand out above other cars trucks that they have put out really like that one next up this is part of the ultra hots you probably got you guys have probably seen these like sitting over to the side they're like two dollars and 97 cents they're a little bit more expensive but i've never seen this car before this is the Volkswagen Racer. Guys, check that out. I had to snatch this bad boy up. I don't think it's anything special about it. I don't think it's like a super of anything. But I've never seen this car in the stores at all. If you guys have seen this bad boy, if you know some more information about this car, please shoot it down in the comments and let me know. Because this is a really, really cool car. Next up, one of my favorites right here. I like personally, I really, really like this truck. I threw it in a protector right away. I'm going to take it out of the little protector because I want you guys to see it a little bit more close. This is the 1978 Dodge Little Red Express truck. This is a beautiful casting, guys. From those reds, glossy red, to the gold in the rims. I can't complain about this truck at all. You know what I mean? It just looks really nice all the way around. I was able to find one where the card is just amazing on it. I threw it right into a protector. I'm going to throw it right back into the protector. But yeah, th this is another one, too. People will snatch these things up. They will grab every single one of them that is in the rack. I've seen guys just walk out and people spend their money however they want to spend their money. But maybe leave a few for other collectors. That's all I'm asking. Next up we have Snoopy. This is the Peanuts Racing Club 1950. Now this is really, really similar to the Snoopy casting that we have in the regular Hot Wheel mainline. 
I would like to put them side by side just to see the main differences in these. I know it just looks a little bit more detailed, but really cool car there. I had to snatch this one up. The next one I found the same day is the Highway Hauler, but this is the Beatles. Man, I've never seen, this is another one. I've never seen it on the shelf before. I think it is just really awesome. Concert tickets in the background on the side of the truck right here. It's another concert ticket as the decal. It looks really nice. Very, very cool for collectors or fans of the Beatles. And next up, I always shoot over to the uh, car section, the cars movie section. Um, Cause they, they have some really cool castings that I like to collect. We grabbed another one. It was from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This one I found, I had to snatch it up. This is Griswold, Griswold. I think, I think that's how it is. But if you know the movies, you know exactly where this car is from. That station wagon is awesome. And it's just really cool to see this into a, I, I don't know if this was in a Cars movie or a Cars TV show. We've seen all the movies, so I haven't seen it. Maybe it's in a TV show somewhere. If you guys know, please let me know down in the comments where this guy appears at. I would like to uh, to see it, you know. Now, next up, this, this is the last thing. And this, uh, I just want to say this item here, um, I always go to the Hot Wheels section. I look at everything. I saw the Jada castings and all. There's a pink Ecto-1 that I'm trying to find. And I didn't see anything, so I went over to where they keep the NECA figures at. And I was looking through there, and I seen, like, there were some plushies right there, right? And I seen they were kind of messed up. And I dug around a little bit, and lo and behold, I found an amazing car hiding behind these plushies. You know, people, they were hiding it for later on, or an employee was hiding it for later on. They were going to buy it. Guys, let me pull this bad boy up here. This is it. Optimus Prime. Guys, this is with the Ghostbusters theme paint job. How awesome is that? Now, one really cool thing, I'm not, I'm probably going to take him out just to look at it. Because this thing has a lot of details in it, and it should because this is one of their bigger models that they put out. Let me flip it around and show you guys. On the bottom of the truck, as you can see right, let me get my things right. It actually shows the robot form on the bottom of the truck. So, hope you guys like this Hot Wheels haul that I found this week. The Jada haul, you know what I'm saying? There were some really cool things here. Some things that I had never seen before. You know, if you guys have seen some of these... Let me know what you think about them down in the comments or if there are some cars that have recently came out that you guys saw in stores please let me know about them man so that way i know what to look for out there but i think i had a pretty good haul for me not being out in the wild you know for a long time because once you get out of the loop and you don't know when stores is putting stuff out you miss out on a lot of great cars because like i said guys that show up they'll buy 20 of the same car if they have it you know, and you'll never have a chance to get it. Like some of them, like the um, the springtime cars, there's one model in it. Everybody just buys that one. And it's like, if I'm going to collect them, I want to collect all five that comes in the set. You know what I mean? I just like to have complete collections. So appreciate you guys checking this video out. As you know, we combine channels. Uh, we got lots of shorts going up. I'm going to be doing these videos as much as possible. Uh, Funko Pop videos as well. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. We're trying to get all this stuff like combined together. We had to do a little fight with YouTube for a little while because they didn't understand the channels combining. So they were thinking that I was still in videos and they were still in videos. And it, it just got kind of crazy. You know what I mean? But hopefully all of that is behind us. We're back on track and we can start getting these videos out regular again. And like I said, I appreciate you guys very much for sticking with us through all the stuff that has happened. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys next time.